Wait, it's Tuesday already? I gotta sing the doom song now! Doom, 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 doom! It's been a super busy week. I'm guessing it's been a super busy week for everyone else because only me and Jeanette have put up videos. I had my first day of grad school today, my first day ever of grad school, and I'm super excited for it. Um, I'm doing a um, master's in nonprofit management, and the classwork is going to be really boring to start with. Like right now, I'm just doing the intro class to the program, and it's basically like, hey, this is how you don't be a horrible manager. And since I've had to deal with horrible managers and not horrible managers at my various jobs throughout the years, um, I kind of know how to not be a horrible manager. Especially since I was already like in a management position before. I also went book shopping a lot this weekend. Um, I got a whole lot of books. Look, look, I got, I got Lord of the Rings in Spanish. I didn't find book one, but um, got the other two. And I also got like Catching Fire, which I've already finished, and I got um, a Cassandra Clare book and the second book of the series of the ink heart and then I just picked up a whole bunch of books from the library as well so I'm getting excited um, this is my last full week of work before because I'm quitting to go to school full-time so um, I'm really excited about that because I have been working full-time since I was 17 to put myself through college and stuff so I'm really excited about not having to work and my plan is to just sit down and focus on writing and um, I want to be a writer so I want to actually get published at some point so it would be good to finish something and I'm going to be reading a lot obviously. I'm also possibly, probably, um, almost confirmed adopting a dog so that's really exciting. Um, I've had this rescue that I want to adopt from picked out for over two years now and it's just these dogs that I want to adopt require a lot of time and energy and knowledge and I didn't have the time because I was always working full time so now I'm only going to be in class for about three hours of a week I'm going to have lots of time like I'm just going to be sitting home writing so I have lots of time to work on socialization and training and stuff and that's going to be exciting to answer Jeanette's question, what form would my Patronus take? My Patronus is a pygmy marmoset, and there's really no real basis for that other than I think it's funny. Pygmy marmosets are about this big, about two inches tall, um, and they, I just think it would be hilarious for a pygmy marmoset to be this powerful force to make dementors go away. The reason why I love pygmy marmosets is actually from a book, of course. Um, Tamara Pierce is my favorite author, even above J.K. Rowling. The first series of hers that I read is the Immortal series, in which this girl can talk to animals and tries to save them and help them and stuff, and obviously that has really impacted my life. Um, but in the third book of the series, she finds this pygmy marmoset. It just becomes like a really great friend to her and everything, and so that's why I've always liked them since. That's my Patronus. Don't ask me what my Animega shape would be because I have no idea that that is my Patronus. I will see you all next week.